Girl Toy Banks, the world's most satisfied wife. I'm out here shopping for my boys. As you know, the kids have been back to school. I know here in Michigan, just over a month now. And one of the things um, that my husband and I put in order um, is structure. Because I was thinking about, you know, how we should raise our children. You know, we're supposed to raise them in the way they shall go. Where there's a couple of things my husband and I put in place in order for my kids to have structure and order. And so one of the things that one of the rules that's in the house is that during school time, from Monday through Friday, there's absolutely no TV, no video games, no playing on your phone, none of that. That's out. Because between the hours, the, by the time your child get out of school, they get home set up maybe about 3, 30, 4 o'clock, and then time to go to bed about 9, 9, 30. When do we see time for TV? There is none. I mean, you have to do your homework. You have to study. You have to read. And then you have to do your chores. Then you have to uh, get yourself prepared for school tomorrow by ironing your clothes. When do you have time for TV? Cut the TV out, people. I'm telling you, it's robbing your kids of their education, robbing them of sleep, robbing them of studying, robbing them of time and focus on doing their homework. So TV is out. That's one of the things that we did. The second thing is there's order. So when our kids come home, the first thing they do, drop their bags, they go get something to eat. Why? Because they haven't had lunch. They haven't had nothing to eat since, um, what, noon? And so, yeah, the kids are hungry. So let them eat. But you're only getting 15 minutes. You're only getting 15 minutes. My son, my youngest one, is the one that usually comes, comes in, cut on the timer. And everybody has 15 minutes, okay? You come in, you get those 15 minutes. Now, if you mess over that 15 minutes, guess what? You're not eating until dinner. I don't care what you say. You messed up. We have to stay structured. Why? Because after your snack, you're supposed to be doing your homework. You're supposed to be reading. You're supposed to be studying. You're supposed to be doing your chores. You're supposed to be getting ready for school tomorrow. We don't have time for games. So keep your kids structured. Don't let them just willy-nilly around, sit around on the couch, talk to their friends, play on social media, none of that. The other thing is that there is no earning in the morning. There's no looking for socks in the morning. There's no looking for pants in the morning. None of that. Before you go to bed, you must have your clothes out, including socks. Because if you got kids like me, socks are a big issue in the house. They, they running around in the morning. I can't find my sock. He took my socks. He took my socks. Uh-uh. None of that. We're going to kill that. Because before you go to bed, I don't care if it take you to midnight to find them socks. Guess what? You're not going to bed until you have socks out. Arms, pants on, shirt on, all of that out. Shoes sitting, all of that sitting out. So that in the morning, all our boys have to do is get up because they already taking a shower. There's no taking showers in the morning either. What are you doing taking a shower in the morning? We don't have time for that. So all you do is when you get up in the morning, is you get up, you go to the bathroom, you brush your teeth, wash your face, mess with your hair, go into the room, put on your clothes, go get you a little breakfast, grab your backpack, and we out the door. That's how we've been doing it since my kids have been elementary. Now they're in high school, and I'm going to tell you the results. My kids, without us having to tell them, for the most part, without having to tell them, they do it automatically now. It's a system that has worked. That so much is worked so well that they do it without us even asking, without us even telling. Now, sometimes, you know, kids are going to get a little beside themselves. They're going to get a little lazy. And that's when mommy or daddy is there to say, hey, what you doing? Focus. This ain't what we do because you know the structure. There's not something that we have to say. So kids don't get an option to do what they want to do. They do what we tell them to do, period. We don't have to discuss why I'm telling you to do this. You just do it. I don't know about these new age uh, parents where the kids get to discuss what I tell you to do. No, you're going to do what I told you to do. <laughs> and there's no discussion about that. So if you want your kids to be structured, if you want them to be productive, you want to make sure that their homework is in, uh, <laughs> you got to make sure that they're structured. It's all on you. Because at the end of the day, we are going to have to give an account of why these kids don't know how to iron their clothes. Your kids don't know how to iron their clothes. You need to sit and train them how to iron their clothes. They don't know how to wash clothes. They should know how to wash clothes. All of that stuff my boys do on their own. And now they're 17, 16, 15, and 12. And now they do it all by themselves. So I hope that just helped you a lot. I hope that you um, can add a little of this and it, it balances out your day. Um, because these kids can get get all over the place, but we don't want that to happen. We want them to stay structured. I hope this helped you today. I'm Toy Banks in for Better Wife, Better Life, helping you balance it all.